this half hour with rain in the forecast across southern Colorado today. There is a way you can use the rain to your advantage. Yeah, we're talking about rain barrels. The news five Shayla Jordan is joining us live once again in Pueblo with more on how to make your own rain barrel and how it can benefit your family. Bree and Ira, rain barrels were actually banned up until last year, but now you can collect over 100 gallons of water using a rain barrel. And here's how that works. The rain barrel actually collects water from the roof of your home, and you can go ahead and use that water to water your lawn or your plants. It's not even charged to your utilities bill. And the best part about all of this, they're easy to make. You can use items just like these. The first thing you need to do, though, is install a flex fit diverter. And here's how that works. A flex fit diverter actually routes the water from the downspout right into the barrel. To do this, simply measure three inches down from the top of your barrel and make a mark. Then drill a hole and insert the tube. Now, you'll need to drill a hole in the downspout as well in order to connect the barrel to your downspout. And make sure your FlexFit diverter is about five inches above your barrel so that it doesn't overflow. And finally, find a place for your spigot, drill a hole, and put your spigot in. One advantage to this, this whole process should take less than 10 minutes. Save money. Uh, you can kind of set it so you know the components meet your needs. Sometimes people like to uh, put the spigot in lower so that they can capture more rain and, and use more water. Some people don't like to do that because sludge can sometimes accumulate in the bottom. Make sure you have some kind of filtration or gutter guard to prevent any leaves and dirt. And any debris could constrict your rain barrel and even start a clog. Now, keep in mind, building your barrel will cost somewhere from $50 to $100, and each home is allowed up to two barrels. And we have all of these details, the steps, so they're up for you on the News 5 app. Watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Shayla Gerard in News 5.